gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Captain Frank Hawks. How's it going this fine morning? I just got off security detail, uh, my job, uh, working for Allied Universal. And I think it's time that we talk about something. Something that is very rarely talked about in the 20th century. We're going to talk about ethics and we're going to talk about rights, purview, and superiors. So let's say, for instance, and mind you, I am not talking in relevance to my job, nor will I talk in relevance to my job, even though what I am talking about is frustration in relevance to my job. I don't believe in undermining, circumventing, going over people's heads, or talking bad about people behind their backs. So I'm not going to do that. We're just going to hypothesize. We're going to hypothesize, let's say for instance, that you have a job. And in that job, pertinent to you, your superiors, and the people that you have to contend with, a certain pattern, as a certain pattern, has become what is considered the norm. Now, if for any reason, um, uh, um, how do I phrase this? If for any reason, something becomes more dangerous in your job and you have to change your so the way you do things that's natural that falls within the purview that's how you do things that's how you go about it to change it so that it's safer for everybody and especially for the people working there and so that things are more comfortable and are smooth and let's say for instance this has been established subject to and pertinent to not only you, but the people beneath you, the people above you, and the people that you have to deal with on a daily basis. Okay, if, say for instance, you are promoted to a supervisor, and you decide that you want to have things your way, regardless of what the people beneath you, the people above you, or the people that you have to contend with, have a safely established, with no real need for change, and you decide to change it, that is improper. If there is no reason to change something, you don't change it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Now I can understand if certain individuals in question decided that they wanted to say, for instance, make things follow the rules a little bit more specifically. Use certain apparati that are not being used because there is no point to use them. And you decide that that apparatus has to be used even though it is an inconvenience, even though it slows down the process, even though it makes things worse for everybody involved, and even though it is a hazard without pre-approval from the people above you or beneath you, okay, and yes, as a supervisor, you do have to talk to the people beneath you, and so thusly, you do have to know what the hell's going on before you can make any credible choices. Also, even as a supervisor, you have people above you, and if you go around changing things just willy-nilly, just because that's what you're feeling, and that's what you're in the mood for that day, It's going to screw things up. It's going to make things harder. It's going to slow things down. And it's going to make things more difficult. And in the end, you're going to get a lot more complaints. Which means what you perceived as lackadaisical to begin with is only going to become more lackadaisical in the long run. Minor things that people didn't complain about before, they're going to complain about now. And that is the major hurdle in security complaint. So this is how this works. I am a security officer. I have to secure what it is that we're doing that day. So there are personnel who come through my station every day just to go to work. That is already by itself just checking in with me a major inconvenience in their minds. And so the human predication 
is to make things smooth. And as a supervisor, your job is to make things smooth, not to make things more complicated. When you make things more complicated, you make things harder on the average security officer and not easier. Now, I know how that sounds. It does not sound like how a security professional should sound. It shouldn't be easy. It's a security gig. You're protecting people. I get that. But we're doing the same exact job without that hazardous piece of equipment. Excuse me for one second. I have to make sure that I'm doing what I'm doing safe. Ah, blind. Okay. While at the same time, trying to make things easier and a little bit fun for the people going through there, because going through my station is already a hassle. It's already a problem for these people. They already complain, but they don't complain to their supervisors, and they don't complain to my supervisors, okay? And when you add a problem to that kind of an equation, what happens is people will complain not only to my supervisors, but to their supervisors, and things will become more lackadaisical. They will become more laid back. They won't become as safe as they are now. They will become less safe because you decided that every rule must be followed. Okay, I, I get the want to impress the upper people, but whenever it is a device that does not work, and basically what it is, is a secure door that was placed in an incorrect manner that makes things a whole hell of a lot less convenient because you have to bend over. And there are a lot of people that go through my station who can't bend over. And there is no room to take off your shoes to pass them through that fucking door. And what a secure door is basically is you can open one half of it but not the other half while passing materials through. And I understand, again, I understand the want to make things safe. I get that. I am a security professional and I totally understand. But at the same time, deliberately going out of your way to make more to make things more difficult without either the people above you or the people beneath you agreeing causes problems and as a security professional I'm not going to say this to whomever it is his face the reason why is because it's unprofessional I would rather file a complaint which is what I'm going to do but at the same time I feel like I need to vent where do I go to vent guys where do I I want to hear the comments where do I go to vent I go to YouTube don't I I go to YouTube. Yes, I do. Say it. I want to hear it. Well, read it. Oh. What will end up happening, and I'm willing to put money on it, is this person who has become a supervisor and has decided to make things more strict and less smooth is they won't be a supervisor for very long. Complaints will be filed. The position will be vacated. And this person will be very unhappy and will want to take it out on somebody and somebody will get fired. And if I get fired, I'm going to have issues, massive issues. And I'm going to read this person the riot act. Anyways, I know we didn't really talk about what I said we were going to talk about. I'm tired. I'm pissed off. I'm going home going to snuggle my wife. Ah! Let me say it again. Ah! 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 Have fun. Be safe. Take care of each other. Know that I love you guys. This is Captain Frank Hawks signing off.